welcome back to the 81st episode of KWLT's long-running cooking show with our host of four years, our artistic director. She's very busy with preparation for hair and the popcorn plays, so in today's episode, the role of our artistic director will be played by Stefan. Thanks for filling in, Stefan. And thank you for not having me wear a blonde wig, announcer. So, when you think about it, a theatrical season is a lot like a beautifully balanced cocktail. You've got your lighter top notes, something delightful to surprise you, and it's balanced out by some deeper themes. So, today we're going to uh, see how KWLT makes that cocktail on our show. But first, you shouldn't drink or cook alone. So I brought some friends to help us out. Uh, would you mind joining us, ladies? Meet the directors of our next season. Uh, thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Hi there. So let's talk about what makes a great season, shall we? At KWLT, we like to start our season off with something to sweeten up the audience. Whether it's a classic piece that everybody knows, even if they haven't seen it, or a zany murder mystery, it's got to say, we're here, we're making theater, come join us. This year, Elizabeth joins us to direct Lucky Stiff. Tell us about this while I muddle this sugar cube, Elizabeth. It's a murder mystery farce of mistaken identities, million dollars in diamonds, and a wheelchair-bound corpse that will have you dying of laughter. And it's also a musical. It sounds like Weekend at Bernie's meets over-the-top musical farce. <sighs> Once we've picked our first show, we like to head into winter with a show that celebrates the spirit of the festive season. This year, we're bringing you a play that celebrates both the season and theater, Scrooge Macbeth, directed by Carolyn. Tell us a bit about it, Carolyn. Christmas meets Shakespeare in this play within a play about four actors who have to put on a show after the rest of their cast gets food poisoning. So you could say that you'll laugh, get punched in the face by fun, and even learn some new words to your favorite Christmas songs. The festive season leads right into the festival season, when KWLT participates in the Western Ontario Drama League. This year, we'll be entering the festival with a play that continues our tradition of modern and edgy theatre. Tell us about Lion in the Streets, Erin. It's a dark and serious play, a nightmare of surrealistic images that deals with a young girl as she explores her own life and death looking at questions of misery, compassion, and forgiveness. It sounds like it'll invite audiences to examine the heights and depths of the human condition. In our spring show, we try to feature experimental and Canadian theatre. We like to push the envelope, and this year's double feature of what acts? Immigration acts, directed by Diana, is like nothing we've done before. Uh, Diana? Immigration acts is an evening of two one-act plays that stages the dichotomy in Canadian attitudes, where the audience is asked to negotiate between one play where Canada is depicted as tolerant and generous, and the second play where Canada is depicted as intolerant and white supremacist. And it's up to the audience to decide how they feel about that relationship. That will make for a very complex and layered night. Finally, we like to end the season out with an extravaganza of fun. A musical confection, if you will. This year, we'll be singing along to the deceptively sweet Legally Blonde the Musical, directed by Rebecca. Rebecca, can you tell us about it? Legally Blonde the Musical follows sorority president Ella Woods as she follows her heart from sunny Malibu to Harvard. As the world tries to box her in, Elle defies expectations, including her own wife. What an effervescent end to the season! And that's how you make a KWLT season. Let's dig in! This episode's sponsor is the application for a permanent liquor license that the board is currently working on. Let's all cross our fingers! Join us again for Cooking with KWLT.